Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us begin our Eucharistic celebration. together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented. 
Would that we had meat for food? We remember the fish we used to eat without cause in Egypt, and the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now we are famished. We see nothing before us but this manna. Manna was like coriander seed and had the color of resin. When they had gone about and gathered it up, the people would grind it between millstones or pound it in a mortar, then cook it in a pot and make it into loaves, which tasted like cakes made with oil. At night, when the dew fell upon the camp, the manna also fell. When Moses heard the people, family after family, crying at the entrance of their tents, so that the Lord became very angry, he was grieved. Why do you treat your servants so badly? Moses asked the Lord. Why are you so displeased with me that you burden me with all these people? Was it I who conceived all these people? Or was it I who gave them birth, that you tell me to carry them at my bosom, like a foster father carrying an infant, to the land you have promised under oath to their fathers? Where can I get meat to give to all these people? For they are crying to me, Give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all these people by myself, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you, you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once, so that I need no longer face this distress. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing with joy to God, our help. Sing with joy to God, our help. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walk according to their own counsels. Sing with joy to God, our help. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways. Quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes, I would turn my hand. Sing with joy to God, our help. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their fate would endure forever. While Israel, I would feed with the best of wheat. And with honey from the rock, I would fill them. Sing with joy to God, our help. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. 
dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker basketfuls. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. May their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. In my training during my theology years, we were asked to do weekly apostolate in an area here in the South Harbor called Baseco Compound. No? And from 2008 to 2012, no, we be asked to go there every Sunday to facilitate um, mother's class or youth involvement and at times also children. And since it is a depressed area, no, one of our strategies, <clears throat> excuse me, as our um, parish priest would tell us, no, you, when you go there, magdala kayo ng maraming pagkain, no? magdala kayo ng pandesal. No? And yeah, no, when we go there, no, we bring food. No? At times, no, the children would go there, not really so much because of the instruction, but because of the food we bring. No? Kaya nga, every um, beginning September or August, no? um, one, of, one of the congregation also do their apostolate there and they do um, weekly attendance. Weekly attendance for the mothers so that come December, since there's a lot of good um, hearted people who would donate a lot in this congregation, no? ibibigay din nila sa mga nanay. At talaga namang buhos, liglig, umaapaw no? ang mga blessing no? tuwing December. No? And of course, somehow, our initial um, encouragement to them is food, no? But eventually, we share the food that is coming from heaven, that is the Word of God, and also building up the communities. And when I was um, about to graduate there, I think we've managed to put up 14 chapels. However, no? One experience of mine really um, made me reflect. Because hindi lang ko kami ang nagmi-minister doon. No? May marami rin iba't ibang sekta. No? Magpapatayo kami ng chapel sa isang area. The following week, meron ng ibang sekta. No? Meron ng iba't ibang um, mga kanya-kanya ring paraan kung paano maka-attract ng tao. No? And this one Sunday, we went there. Ako nasa ng mga bata, no? nasa ng mga nanay, nasa ng mga youth. No? At may nagtip sa amin, no? Father, no? may dumating ho kasing ano, Korean actor doon sa kabila. No? Member ng isang Christian denomination. No? At marami silang talang pagkain. No? Ano nangyari? No? Nandun ho sila no? sa kabila. <laughs> Hindi daw muna sila ag aaten sa inyo ngayon. It was really frustrating, no? Somehow, nakakairita, nakakainis. No? Dahil somehow, believing that we've been working there for quite some time already, no? Um, ngayon, parang naagaw, no? Katoliko na yan, naging protestante pa, no? Katoliko na yan, napunta pa sa ibang sekta, no? And reflecting on it, no? My dear brothers and sisters, since we are somehow taught, no? Na merong kami, Merong sila, no? It made me reflect, no? 
Wow. I thought that by doing this ministry, I love these people. No? But re upon reflecting on it, I was thinking, reflecting, no, no. God loves them more than I do. That's why these people who I see as other people are also sent by God no? to also somehow share the bread they have, to share also the things they have. No? The problem for us is that if we always have this mindset na may sila at may kami, no? we already forget no? that we belong to, you know, one family, no? that we are all children of one God. Why am I telling you this, mother, brothers, and sisters? Today in our gospel reading, St. Matthew again presents us of this all too familiar multiplication of the bread. Si Jesus ay nagpakain ng higit sa limang libong lalaki, not counting women and children, from five loaves to two fish. Commentators and biblical scholars would suggest that there's really somehow no miracle that happened. What happened was people sat down and shared those food that they had while journeying and traveling with Jesus. It could be one possibility. And another commentator would somehow fortify no, this argument. It could be. Why? Because when things are shared, everything else multiplies. When things are shared, everything else multiplies. And I guess this is the challenge for us, my dear brothers and sisters. If we have the resources, no? and if we somehow manage to consider our needy brothers and sisters, no? there's no scarcity. Hindi mauubusan ng tao. Binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng sapat. Hindi lang nga sapat, minsan, Sobra pa. Pero bakit kinukulang? Marahil siguro, hindi sa sapat. Sa kung anong binigay ng Diyos, kapat itatapat ito saan? Sa kasakiman nating mga tao. At hindi rin ito mangyayari kapag hindi natin nakita ang ating kapwa bilang kapatid. Kapatid dahil kasama tayo sa iisang pamilya. The next following days, my dear brothers and sisters, will again be ECQ, no? lockdown. And we are invited also and be challenged again no? to somehow share what we have with this community pantry that has been initiated no, by this very good fellow from Quezon City no, and was multiplicated, no, multiplied. No. Nandun actually ang milagro eh, di ba? Nandun ang milagro. Nakita ang mabuting ihemplo. At yun ang nakakapagpabago, hindi lang sa mundo, lalong-lalo na rin sa atin. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Mass, let us pray to the Lord that we may have this generous heart to share what we have. An open heart no? to consider the other, no? As an equally deserving of our love, no? of our kindness. For after all, tayong lahat ay nilalang ng iisang Diyos. Amen.
gathered like the crowd in the gospel and hungry for the word of God, we turn now with confidence to our Heavenly Father, who never fails His people in their need. In every prayer, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may bear witness in word and deed to God's love and concern for the hungry and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders and all who hold positions of great power may help distribute the world's resources in such a way that no country may be in danger of famine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may be men and women of prayer, and that we may be prepared to give our time and talents to help those searching for the meaning of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may experience the sustaining love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, be mindful of us who are in need of your mercy. Fill our hearts with your love and never allow us to be separated from you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify this gift, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held his mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, my roof but only say, but the, only word, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O Lord, those who renew with these heavenly gifts, that in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.
for every day that comes for all their pains and joys be there to understand they may seek you my lord and reach into your hands may you comfort their sorrows and heal their wounded hearts Thank you. 